Uh, good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Virtual College Exploration for All Ohio Students, sponsored by the Ohio Association for College Admission, Counseling, and StriveScan. Thank you for joining us this evening. A few housekeeping announcements before we get started. You can use the Q&A button on your screen to type your questions to our presenters at any time. Your camera and microphone are off, so the panelists cannot see or hear you. And this is just one of many different sessions happening, so be sure to check out the full schedule at oacac.org. The presentation is being recorded and will be available within about a week at the same website, oacac.org. I'll now turn it over to our presenters. Thank you. Hello and welcome to the University of Mariah Grand's information session. My name is Christy Russell and I will be presenting today along with my admission staff. I'm going to share my screen here. Okay, hopefully everyone can see my screen. Um, my admission staff will be joining us shortly and they will be presenting throughout the program this evening and also assisting behind the scenes to answer any questions that you may have. So we strongly encourage you to use the Q&A box to answer to our, enter any questions that you may have and they will type in answers to your questions and then at the end of the program we will also review those questions and hopefully get everything answered that you have um, this evening. Some of the things that we'll be covering this evening, we'll be talking about the programs and majors that we offer here at Rio Grande. We'll go over our tuition cost, financial aid, and the scholarship offerings that we have for you. We'll talk about our campus life and organizations and how to get involved when you become a Rio Grande student in our campus life. We'll also mention our athletic programs and talk about the requirements to play collegiate sports. We'll go over our application process, how to apply, and how to get accepted and become a Rye Grand student. We will also talk about campus visits. We are currently offering in-person in visits on our campus, so we encourage you to schedule a visit to see our beautiful campus. You can do that on our website. We are also still doing virtual visits, so if you would prefer a more personalized virtual visit, customized to your needs, to meeting with an admission staff to get all your questions answered, maybe meeting with a coach or a faculty member, virtually we can do that as well. We will also show a campus tour this evening, um, a virtual campus tour, so you'll get a little glimpse of what we have to offer on our campus and kind of see inside some of our buildings and things like that. And then, as I mentioned, we will follow um, everything up at the end with Q&A and kind of cover the questions that you've had this evening. So at this time, I'm going to turn it over to one of my staff members, Katie Bostick. Hello, my name is Katie Bostick and I'm an admissions rep here at RIO. Uh, my territory is the eastern side of Ohio. Um, so today I'm going to cover a little bit about RIO and then um, our majors and then I'm going to move the torch on to Emily. So the University of Rio Grande is located in southeastern Ohio on a hill right beside the original Bob Evans farm. With a 190 acre campus it allows for beautiful seasons as I am excited for the fall leaves to turn. We are a unique institution the only two-year community college and four-year private university. As some may question why, this allows us to give our Ohio students private university instruction and experiences at a community college right the first two years. It also allows us to have a wide range of programs. We have over 70 programs at RIO from certificates to associate degrees bachelor's degrees and master's. Our students have a wide variety of opportunities as they study in real world environments through practicums, study abroad and internship programs. As you look through the list, there's a few things that I do want to cover about our majors and programs. One is some of our most popular majors are business, education, and sports and exercise science. Secondly, we have a student to instructor 
instructor ratio of 12 to 1, and we have over 1,700 students on campus. Third, there are some majors that require additional applications and have additional requirements. This would be our nursing and allied health programs. Our allied health programs are radiology, respiratory therapy, and um, sonography programs. So our nursing requirements are a completed C or better in chemistry, algebra, and biology, a 2.5 or better GPA. And then you would take what's called a HESI exam. Um, it's like a, a nursing entrance, entrance exam. And they take the top 90 scores each year for that. Our allied health requirements is a completed um, C or better in chemistry, algebra, and biology, a 2.5 or better GPA, and a 20 on your ACT or your SAT equivalent. So now I'm going to turn it over to Emily and she's going to talk about tuition and financial aid. Thanks, Katie. Um, so my name is Emily. I'm the senior admissions representative. I primarily work with our transfer students. And if you uh, do choose to take a visit with us, I uh, also coordinate all of our campus visits. I'm going to be talking to you tonight a little bit about our tuition and financial aid. So as you can see here and as Katie earlier, we are a very unique institution. We are the only institution uh, that is a combined two-year private or two-year uh, state-funded community college with a four-year private university. Um, that really allows us to offer our Ohio residents a quality four-year private university education, but for the first two years at a community college cost. So it's a, a massive, massive discount that we give our uh, Ohio residents. As you can see, uh, the first two years, Ohio residents pay about $3,900 per year. That is a per year cost. Um, these costs do not include fees, room and board, or books. So these are just the baseline fees, or baseline tuition costs. And as you can see, we do offer a lot of other unique tuition plans for different areas of students. So our BSN program, our Bachelors of Nursing, has a special tuition rate. Our um, BSN program, if you're already an alumni of RIO, has a special tuition rate as well as adult degree completion. Um, when it comes to the private university rate, obviously um, that is a, a significant jump from our first two year rate. We do offer a lot of different scholarships to help offset that jumping cost. Uh, when it comes to scholarships, the first step in receiving any kind of scholarship is filling out the FAFSA um, or really any other financial aid. So starting October 1st, you are able to fill out the FAFSA for next school year. Um, you'll use our school code, um, which is 003116, and that is the first step um, to have your FAFSA sent to us. Um, for all of our financial aid, um, we would have to have your FAFSA on file. Um, we are committed, as you can see, to try to meet or get you to meet all of your goals. Um, we offer over 300 different forms of financial aid to help cover your educational costs. Um, scholarships make up the most of that, as well as uh, federal and state loans and, uh, and work study. Um, as well, we offer about 250 different private donor scholarships on our campus, um, which is all or almost all of those are included on what we call our Red Storm Scholarship application. Um, that is one application through our financial aid website. Um, you can go to the link listed down here, fill up one application, and you're in the running for almost all of our scholarships that we house on our campus. Um, as well as any other scholarships that will be listed on there, you can apply for then. If you have any questions um, regarding financial aid or tuition, you can always contact our office or you can contact the financial aid office um, and all of their contact information is listed on our website. At this time, I'm going to turn it over to Corey Harris, uh, who's going to talk to you about our campus life and um, living on campus. Hi, how's it going? My name is Corey Harris. Uh, I am also one of the admissions representatives here at the University of Rio Grande. 
Um, my territory is the western side of Ohio, so anywhere from Brown County all the way up to Hancock County. Um, like we said, um, I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit about our campus life, our total living plan, um, just a wide range and variety of different things that we can offer you here at the University of Rio Grande. Um, so whether if you're a traditional student, non-traditional, um, resident, commuter, I guarantee you we have something on our campus that will suit you. Um, one of the things too is like, you know, when you come on campus, uh, if you want to get involved with like student government, um, we have a little bit of Greek life here, Greek council, and then if you were interested in any clubs or anything like that, we have a psychology club um, that we could offer. We also have uh, some community organizations, uh, different gaming clubs. I mean, literally, you name it, we just about have it. Um, you know, another thing that I'm going to talk about here is student services. Um, we have the accessibility services, so if you were in high school and you had an IEP, um, you know, we will make sure that we can accommodate all things that you need in order to be a successful student here. Um, we also partner with uh, Hopewell um, organization, which is our mental health uh, company. If you need to talk with somebody, um, just kind of get some things off your chest. You know, we have uh, all of the services here in order um, for you to feel comfortable and right at home. Um, next, I'll also talk about is our honors program. Okay, um, if you are kind of interested in about the honors program, you want to find out more about like what the requirements are, your eligibility, if you're, um, if, if you're able to, uh, the website is actually www.rio.edu slash honors. Um, something really cool that we also offer here, unfortunately, due to COVID-19, we're actually not able to do that this this year, uh, is our study abroad program. So uh, on a normal year, we would be able to partner with the University of Wales, uh, Trinity St. David in, in the United Kingdom. Really, really cool opportunity. We've had a few students that have decided to do our uh, study abroad program. Every time they come back, they say it's such a great experience. And, you know, I just feel like it's something that uh, we can offer to you if that was something that you were interested in. Living on campus, all right? So there's a couple things. Um, in order to live uh, off campus for the University of Rio Grande, um, you have to live within 50 miles of, uh, of the main campus. Um, so if you live outside of 50 miles, then what we do is, is we ask that you live on campus for four full semesters. So, um, you know, we have that availability. Um, also, we just got a very new um, um, food service, uh, Hallmark, by the way, they have really good cookies. Um, but uh, that is very, very, um, the food here is really, really good. Um, one of the things too, you get 19 meals per week. That is breakfast, lunch, and dinner, Monday through Friday. You also get brunch and dinner, which is on Saturday and Sunday. Um, we also uh, do something, it's called our Storm Bucks, uh, where we give you $50 where you can uh, go to Buffalo Wild Wings and spend that $50 how you please each semester. So if you're not really enjoying the calf that day, that's okay. Go ahead and go down to Buffalo Wild Wings and spend how you please. Um, talking next is about our total living plan. Um, our total living plan is $11,166. Um, that is a double occupancy room uh, with utilities. Like I said before, we have the 19 meals a week um, with our nice service of Hallmark. Um, internet and Wi-Fi. Um, we have free access to laundry uh, in each resident hall. You would be surprised. That's actually a very big perk. Um, and then uh, AC in each room. Uh, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn it over to Brandon Bias, who will talk to you about athletics. Thanks, Corey. Uh, my name is Brandon Bias. I'm an admissions representative as well. My territory is central Ohio, so I could be anywhere from Scioto and Lawrence all the way up to Crawford and Ashland. I also uh, take care of West Virginia. I'm also the assistant women's basketball coach, and I serve as the athletic liaison between admissions and athletics. So if you have any questions, 
between athletics and admissions, you could probably just take down my number, which is located right beside of my picture here, and get in touch with me. RIO has over 20 varsity sports located on our main campus with seven reserve teams. We are members of the River States Conference. It spans over five states. It goes from Pennsylvania to West Virginia to Ohio, Kentucky, and all the way over to Indiana. So we're very, we, we share five different states with our conference. Listed now is our men's programs. New, new this year is wrestling. Uh, we will be starting swimming next fall, uh, but these are our men's programs. Next up will be our women's programs. Again, we'll be adding swimming in 2021. We also started eSports this year. That is a co-ed program. It is something that we expect to grow. Um, and if you tell me that you could get a scholarship to go and play video games, I would have been all about that. Uh, so uh, we are athletic funded programs for scholarships. Uh, we are NAI, uh, so we can give athletic scholarships all four years, uh, depending on uh, you know, the variation of your skill set and the need at those positions for those sports teams. If you have any questions, again, about any of the athletics, please contact me. I can link you up with a coach. I can also uh, give you a tour, bring you to campus. I can meet you at your school and talk to you about athletics if any questions that you may have. So feel free to contact me about any athletic questions you may have. Okay, so everything you've been told today is great, but what we need you to do, if you're interested, we need you to apply. How do you apply? There's two different ways you can apply. You can go to rio.edu and hit apply and fill out an application that way. You can also use our QR uh, code there down at the bottom of the screen. Uh, very simple process to go ahead, click on it, uh, fill out the application, and then send your transcripts in. Those are for seniors coming in to be a freshman in college. So apply, send your transcript in, get you accepted. Uh, those are just two easy steps. Uh, we're open enrollment, no GPA, no ACT requirements. So with those two steps, we can get you accepted. That doesn't get you into all the programs necessarily, but it definitely takes something off your plate uh, uh, as far as getting accepted into the college. Uh, at this time, uh, I'm gonna turn it over uh, back to Emily and let her touch on a few things. Thanks, Brandon. Um, uh, one last thing that I really wanted to touch on um, before we get into talking about visits is uh, I wanna talk to our CCP students now. Um, CCP has been growing across the state of Ohio, and I know a lot of students are taking advantage of being able to take college classes while you're in high school, uh, which brings a lot of questions when it comes to transitioning into a traditional college setting. So when it comes to your CCP courses, we do not need those transcripts when you apply. Um, now, of course, you want your classes to be able to transfer in as credit um, that you've taken those classes. So uh, all we'll need is once you've completed your senior year, we'll need the official copies from the college or university that you have attended um, sent to us and then we can transcript those uh, on your RIO transcript and award you the credit for those classes. Uh, like I said, with, it, with the CCP growing as much as it has, um, I know that question comes up quite a bit. Uh, when it comes to visiting campus, uh, the best way to find out if Rio is going to be your home for the next two to four years is visiting us on our campus. Uh, as Christy mentioned a little earlier, we are still offering virtual visits, but we're still offering on-campus visits as well. So we would love to welcome you to our campus. Um, we will sit down and have a, a personal visit. We are limiting our visits to one student at a time because of COVID with two guests. Um, so it really will be able to be a, a very personal experience for you. Uh, we'll talk about your major. Uh, we'll get you a tour of campus, a physical tour. Uh, you might even be able to meet with some faculty members or a coach of an athletic program that you're interested in. Um, the way to do that is to go on our website and click schedule a visit. Uh, it's really that easy. It's a quick form that you'll send. You'll pick your day, your time. And uh, as long as that time isn't already taken, you will be able to visit at that time. I'm the one that does most of your visits, so I'm uh, really excited to be welcoming you on our campus. Um, and right now, we're gonna go ahead and go into our virtual tour uh, through this video tour.
Welcome to Florence Evans Hall, which is located across from the beautiful Bell Tower and beside Davis Library. Upon entering, Reardon One Stop is located on your right. The One Stop houses the admissions office, office of the registrar, and business office. This is your first stop in getting all those college questions answered. Students who visit the Reardon One Stop can apply for admission, schedule a tour of our beautiful campus, order transcripts, or pay for a balance. Florence Evans Hall is also home to the financial aid department. Students can speak to a financial aid advisor regarding their FAFSA, scholarships, and other related matters. Students enrolled in the College Credit Plus program can also find the CCP coordinator in this building. The Community College office staff is also located here. RIO is unique in that it is both a community college and a private university as Ohio residents receive community college tuition their first two years of courses. The Davis Library supports RIO Grand's mission and vision by providing access to quality resources and services. The main floor is where students are greeted by our helpful circulation staff and reference staff to assist students in finding resources such as electronic, digital media, and reference materials needed for their classes. We also offer a collaboration station for group work. The ground floor is home of periodicals, the computer lab, and the campus print shop. The top floor is our designated quiet floor if you need a place to study in peace. Here, students can meet for study groups or on their own in the designated study areas. Anniversary Hall is where our future teachers are trained. This building has molded countless educational professionals, such as teachers, principals, and superintendents. Classrooms are equipped with the tools and technology used in today's classrooms. Students can earn a Career Technical Licensure Certificate, a two-year Associates in Career Tech Teaching in Pre-Kindergarten, a Bachelor's Degree in Middle Childhood Adolescent to Young Adult, Multi-Age, and Early Childhood Intervention Specialist. Students can also earn a Master's Degree in Athletic Coaching Leadership. On-Campus Living offers a wide range of experiences for all students. At RIO, you can become part of our residential communities and build lifelong connections with fellow students. First year housing includes Boyd Hall for males and Davis Hall for females, while upperclassmen reside in Wellness Hall. The total living plan includes both room and board. Our residence halls include standard amenities like a furnished double occupancy room, high-speed internet access, free on-site laundry, and a communal lounge area perfect for gathering with friends. Room upgrades are also available for students who prefer a private room. The Fine Arts Building is where students gather for special events such as our annual Founders Day celebration, community and student theater performances, and a variety of musical performances throughout the year. Students learn skills in digital and darkroom photography, printmaking, graphic design, video, digital imaging, and music lessons. Rhodes Student Center is the home of the Jenkins Center for Student Success. Students can receive professional tutoring in writing, math, and even science classes. This computer lab is designed for students to be able to work on homework, special projects, and print assignments. The bookstore is located in the Rhodes Student Center as well. Students can pick up their books, supplies, and even purchase Rio Pride swag such as sweatshirts, t-shirts, and more. Whether you are a residential student or a commuter student, the Rio Grande Marketplace has an option for you serving daily breakfast, lunch, and dinner. The Marketplace offers buffet-style healthy food choices, a fully stocked salad bar, made-to-order dishes, and a delicious dessert station. Whether you are dining in or grabbing takeout, there's something for everyone in the Rio Grande Marketplace. The newly renovated Wood Hall is where most liberal studies courses are held. 
This is home to various courses such as composition, communications, history, psychology, sociology, and social work, just to name a few. This space offers comfortable and engaging classrooms as well as lecture style seating for larger presentations. Our typical student to faculty ratio in a classroom is 15 to one. You can also find the Media Center in Woodhall, which hosts our very own Rio Grande Cable Access Studio. You can find an archive of productions on YouTube. The Student Lounge allows our students to relax and recharge in between their classes. Welcome to the Thrill on the Hill. Line Center is located on the hill of our beautiful campus. We honor our athletic accomplishments and display the success from our incredible past student athletes, including our most famous basketball player, Bevo Francis. This facility is designed to accommodate our student body, faculty, staff, and our local community by offering top of the line workout equipment in our fitness center. The new Oliver Arena is home to our volleyball, women's basketball, and men's basketball teams, while the secondary gym is utilized by our phys ed courses, intramurals, and practices for our athletes. The Aquatic Center is home to the Rio Swim Team, along with local high schools, club teams, students, staff, and the community. The Ron Glover Booster Room is our place to celebrate the Rio Pride. At Rio, we pride ourselves on the family atmosphere because together we storm. The Davis Career Center is home to students who major in Allied Health, Industrial Maintenance and Automation, Computer Science, and Welding. Those wanting to work in the area of x-ray or ultrasound technologies, respiratory therapy, or nursing have access to our state-of-the-art simulation center and receive hands-on training in real-life medical scenarios. Welding Lab is also located in Davis Career Center. Students receive hands-on training for a welding certificate or associate's degree with certifications in MIG, TIG, BUT, and stick welds. Our industrial automation and maintenance students also have the opportunity to work with industry-recognized equipment. Bob Evans Farms Hall was built in 2001 and is named after local restaurant owner Bob Evans. This is the home of the Emerson E. Evans School of Business. Future business leaders are trained here. Students can earn a one-year short-term professional certificate in accounting, banking, healthcare administration, information technology, marketing, or small business management. Students can obtain an associate's and bachelor's degree in business management. Students can join national groups such as the American Marketing Association or an Actus Club to expand on their educational experience. Senior level business students participate in a capstone course which provides an opportunity to visit New York City and see the New York Stock Exchange firsthand. McKinsey Hall is connected to the Kidd Math and Science Center, which opened in 1997. This space provides mathematics, science, and nursing students with two large lecture halls, a variety of lecture rooms, an anatomy lab, three computer labs, and a conference room with a beautiful view of campus and the surrounding landscape. Students can also relax in the comfortable student lounge. Nursing students also have access to perform various healthcare related exercises in a skills lab alongside the lab instructor. 
Welcome to the Kid Math and Science Center. It is easily recognized as you follow the beautiful arch bridge that spans from East College Street to the front doors of the glass atrium. The Kid Math Science Center, which opened in 1985, has an award-winning masonry design. The center's front doors open to a glass atrium with live plants and a trickling pond. A spacious lobby follows with comfortable studying areas. This center houses three large chemistry labs, three biology labs, one physics lab, a computer lab, lecture rooms, and a large glass greenhouse that enhances the view of our campus. Students majoring in biology, chemistry, environmental science, mathematics, pre-engineering, and wildlife conservation will find themselves taking a majority of their classes in this building. The Art Annex is located just on the edge of campus. This is where students receive one-on-one -on -one training and mentorship in drawing and painting, ceramics, and sculpture. Welcome to Florence Evans. Sorry about that. All right, so now is the time for you to ask your questions. Uh, make sure you type them in that Q&A box. Uh, and we will answer them live. Um, you can see here is all of our contact information um, and we've listed uh, what territories we cover. So if you live in uh, any of the territories, make sure you reach out to your specific uh, admissions representative or just give any of us a call. We're, we're always happy to answer any questions or help you out along the way. All righty. Uh, let's see. Oh, we have a question. Um, one of the questions is, is there a store nearby campus? Yes. Uh, we actually have a couple. We have uh, Family Dollar, which is located right on the exit. Um, and then we have Walmart, which is anywhere between 10 to 15 minutes down the road in Gallipolis. And we also have a Piggly Wiggly, which is literally probably 10 minutes uh, right down the road. So there's different options, different varieties of things that, uh, that, you, can, uh, that you can get. Um, Um, and then another one I see is, can you have a car on campus as a freshman? The answer to that is 100% yes. Uh, you can have a car on campus as a freshman. Um, one of the things that we just ask is that you register your car through uh, campus police uh, and just get a parking pass. And I see a question uh, about the nursing program. Uh, about the ACT or the SAT scores. Our nursing program actually does not require an ACT or an SAT score. It's just the 2.5 GPA, the C or better in chemistry, algebra, and biology, along with uh, applying to the nursing school and taking the HESI uh, to, to place in the top 90 to get in. You can do that as a traditional uh, senior coming in as a freshman. Um, the deadline uh, to, to get signed up for the HESI is January 1 of each year. I'd like to add a little uh, thing to that uh, about the nursing program for the C or better in chemistry, algebra, and biology. Those have to be completed by that application deadline. So I know some schools, um, you don't take chemistry until your senior year. So um, you have to have a completed chemistry um, algebra and biology um, by the deadline. So it, that does have to be a completed grade. All right, uh, here's one. Um, do graduate students or TAs teach undergrad classes? Uh, the answer to that is no. All of our professors are professors. Um, they are not graduate assistants or TAs. Um, they are, you know, either um, graduate 
of a master's program or most of our professors are actually PhD. Um, so you, you will not be taught by any uh, TAs or GAs. So one of the other questions was, can you apply to nursing uh, as a senior? And again, I, I said it earlier, but please take down my information. And if you have any more questions about nursing or this is maybe a little confusing, please email me or call me. Uh, and I would gladly go over step by step of how to get you that information. I think we have one of the better nursing options, uh, not only academically, but uh, being able to be affordable uh, in, in the state. I see a question. Um, it says, is there an application deadline? So for our general admission, there isn't. We have a rolling admissions process or for applications, um, so you can apply at any time. The sooner, the better, though. Um, and then also, there are application deadlines, like Brendan said, for the nursing, it's around January 1st. And for our allied health, it's around um, April 1st. But I would make sure and go to our website at www.rio.edu. Um, and go to those specific pages and they will tell you the deadlines for sure. And then I have another one um, and it is, can I live off campus? And that, um, if you are outside of the 50 mile radius, then you have to live on campus your first two years. If you live inside the 50 mile radius, you can still live on campus. Uh, we would love to have you in one of our residence halls, but if you, you live off campus the first two years, you have to stay in one of our residence halls. And then after that, um, you can choose to live on campus or um, get an apartment around Rio. And there are plenty of apartments um, that you can get with your friends and um, it can help with the cost. Also, um, the question came in, what do we offer students that may be struggling in certain subjects? And that's a great question and I'm glad that you wanted to know that information. So we have a thing called the Jenkins Center for Student Success uh, that actually offers free tutoring. Uh, they'll proofread your papers. Uh, they'll help you uh, with the sourcing of papers. Whenever you're looking for a job, not only do they help you now, but they'll help you with your job resume. They'll give you mock job interviews and help you with some job placements. Uh, again, all that is at no cost to the student. You just have to go over there and, and sign up uh, whenever you're wanting to get, uh, you know, some study time in that subject and they will find somebody that will fit, uh, fit that time and link you two together. All right, I see another one. Um, I think I kind of covered this earlier, but I'll, I'll reiterate because I know it's a really important question. Uh, when should I apply for financial aid? Um, the FAFSA opens October 1st. Um, so we always say the sooner the better when it comes to financial aid, just so we can make sure we get all of your documents um, and we, we can get everything situated for you um, on time and you know even early. Uh, earlier is always best. Um, so starting October 1st, you can fill out the FAFSA at www.fafsa.gov. Um, make sure you enter our school code, which is, uh, it was in this PowerPoint, uh, 003116. Um, and you'll actually use the tax information that you just completed this past spring. Uh, so you'll use the 2019 tax uh, forms for um, your FAFSA next year. Um, and we have to have your FAFSA to be able to get you any kind of financial aid, whether it's scholarships or uh, federal student aid. Okay, and I'm not seeing any other questions. Um, I would like to remind everyone that um, you can click the QR code that's on your screen if you want to go ahead and apply. You can do that now. We'll leave that up for a moment here just to make sure that you have a chance to, to grab that link. 
Um, it's a really simple um, application process. It doesn't cost anything to fill that out. So go ahead and do that if you'd like to um, apply. It doesn't obligate you to anything. And as Brandon said earlier, the only thing we need is that application and your high school transcript to get you accepted to RIO for general admissions. So I would encourage you to go ahead and do that. Um, you can email us at admissions.rio.edu or any of us personally, our contact information is on the website. Um, you can go to our main website and click on admissions and all of our contact information is listed there. Um, so you can um, contact us at any time. We will also be following up with everyone who registered today for our event um, within the next couple of weeks just to make sure that you did get all your questions answered and make sure that nothing else came up after um, the presentation ended that you may have questions about um, you know come visit us we would love to have you on our campus um, and like everyone said you know just let us know if you have any follow-up questions we'll be happy to um, to talk to you and um, we are coming to some schools that will let us in this fall so um, if you hear that Raya will be at your school please sign up for our sessions we would love to meet you face to face um, we're excited to have this opportunity to meet with you this evening virtually but of course we prefer meeting with students face to face and bringing you to our campus to show you everything that we have to offer so if we don't have anything else I don't see any other questions that came in. I think that's all we have this evening. So thank you again for attending our session and we hope to see you on our campus sometime soon. All right, thank you to Ryo and thank you all for joining us this evening. When you close this window, there will be a link to a very quick four question survey and we'd love any feedback that you can provide. Remember, this was just one of many sessions being hosted, so be sure to sign up for additional sessions at oacac.org. And in about a week, you'll be able to find this session's recording and all the other session recordings at oacac.org. Thank you all and have a great evening.